Hello guys, Brad on YouTube, and I have a fragrance review for you today. It is on Bond Number no. Nine's New Harlem, and uh, I've been anxious to check this one out. I've been hearing a lot of good things about it in the YouTube community, and being a lover of Rochas Man, that made me even more excited to try this one out. I hear a lot of comparisons, and uh, I got this uh, little thing here off of eBay. It was slightly used cost me $5.34 in the auction. So it's a kind of a pricey little sample from the Bond Number no. 9 house. Uh, some of these uh, popular Bond Number no. 9 samples are pretty expensive, hard to find, but uh, I figured, you know, no sense in blind buying something this expensive. So you pretty much have to either pass on it or, you know, spend a few bucks. So that's what I did, $5.34. But anyway, on to the review. It, it is a... Uh, Fragrance released in 2003, classified unisex and oriental woody, based in the community. 42 positives, 11 neutrals, 6 negatives, and the note breakdown. Patchouli, lavender, vanilla, coffee, cedar, and bergamot. So, what does it smell like? Well, what it reminds me of is uh, when I was a kid, my mom would bake me my special birthday cake. It would be angel food cake with vanilla frosting on on it, it was like uh, something she had to make on the stove. She put like um, pure maple syrup in a pan and simmer it on the stove. And that's kind of what I get, that smell of like simmering maple syrup, maybe just a slight burnt note to it. But uh, it's a nice, pleasant smell. It's kind of sweet though. I would say uh, on the unisex scale, for, to my nose, it's probably right down the middle, about a five out of 10 unisex scale. But I thought it would be really interesting with the scent is to do a direct comparison between Bond Number no. Nine's New Harlem and Rochas Man and see how they actually measure up. And uh, when I sprayed some on each arm, I asked my wife and my stepdaughter what they thought, and surprisingly enough, they both liked Rochas Man better. And I agree. I think uh, Rochas Man is the better scent for me, anyway. Um, I know a lot of people out there won't agree with me, but uh, I think for now, Rochas Man is still the better scent. And that's what I intend to stick with in terms of a sweet gourmand coffee smell. Um, to my nose, New Harlem actually comes across as a bit sweeter than Rochelle's Man. Again, I'm not sure if everybody perceives that sweetness the same way as I do. Um, I would kind of say, to me, Rochelle's Man and Givenchy Pie are kind of like on either end of New Harlem. I mean, I can tolerate... New Harlem more than Pi, but I tolerate Rochas Man better than New Harlem. So that's kind of what I get from it. So I would say, it, definitely, if you like Rochas Man, you want to check this one out. If you like Givenchy's Pi, again, I think you want to check this one out. Um, if you thought, you know, Rochas Man is is repulsive or too sweet or whatever, uh, then it's getting kind of iffy. I'm not sure if you would enjoy New Harlem because uh, it does come, ac come across as like a very sweet syrupy, you know, kind of smell. Some people compare it to French toast. Um, to me, it's just kind of like this light syrupy type smell. So for something with amber in it, if it has amber in it, it's actually tolerable. I wore it to work on on my uh, night shift, Saturday night. Um, it seemed to last quite a while. So maybe um, you could argue that New Harlem does project and last longer than Rochas Man, which you would expect for the price, but, uh, yeah, that's where it gets iffy. The price on this one is very high. We're talking like $150 to $200 a bottle versus a Rochas Man bottle of about $30. Um, so my grading for this fragrance, smell, I'm going to give about, I'm going to say 7.5 out of 10. Um, but overall, factoring in the cost and the fact that it smells similar to Rochas Man but not as good, Sorry guys, but I gotta really dock this one down. Overall, for now, anyway, I'm gonna give it about a five out of ten because of the cost and the fact that you can get better alternatives in the designer world. And if you really like your sweet scents, um, I know like a lot of the designer scents are sweet enough to me, but I think some of these niche ones are very sweet. Um, if you like that ambery sweet stuff, yeah, you, know, you might want to try this one out, but. I'm not overwhelmed by it. I still think Riverside Drive is the is the one to beat for now from the um, Bond Number no. Nine House. So that's my take. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.